Hey guys, well I am back with the last part of the cathedral window. So we are going to be taking it out of here and sewing it into the book. I haven't got a great deal left to do. I've, I've drawn it on with um, um, the pen, one of these pens. So I'm going to be stitching over that. Here's my wool work that I've put in there, but I would like to stitch that down into here. And I was thinking maybe I ought to stitch it down with this green colour. I think it'd be nice. That's got the yellow thing. Well, it's got that green colour too, so yeah, I think that'll work. So maybe get some pins, hold it down in the meantime. Okay. And then I thought I would do the word cathedral window. Um, stitch it into the book. Um, and that will help hold that down as well, I think. So... But like I said in the previous video, this one will be none too exciting to um, to watch, just stitching it in. And here's the last piece that I've got. I might put that over there. And um, yeah, next month is going to be stunt work. That should be exciting. I'm looking forward to it, but not at the same time <laughs> i think it will be good i think once once you um you know you you get stuck into it it should be all right now really happy with how this has turned out i actually did you may not have seen it in the last video i actually decided i'm going to do some stitching along there so um where are we <clears throat> we could probably zoom it in a tad. I'm going to go out. There we go. In. Um, and I'm thought. Oh, there goes my tummy because I've had water. Um, I might stitch it in that because that's the colour that I've seemed to have used on the outside. Or I'm thinking, do I do that green, or do I do this colour? which I have used on here. That might work too. Hmm, I quite like that green. I'm going to stick with that. Okay. And we, it's kind of fine. I think it might be a pearl. Um, hmm, 12 just seems quite fine. It's funny that the uh, the higher the number, the finer it is. <clears throat> it still takes me a bit to get used to that. So, yep, on the home stretch with this. Um, yeah, last month, or well, last week, was a comical of errors. Me struggling to get these pieces in. Oh my goodness, that was really does take the joy out of it. I end up getting the pliers out and, you know working on it okay so we'll put it that way and I generally might start here this is why I um, I like using this system and I think the first time I saw that where you know you fold it up um, Rachel did that in one of her journals and I thought yeah that's a good idea because all the the work that you don't want to see is going to be behind. So, there we go. My tummy is letting me know that it is nearly lunchtime. So, can't believe this is the the last one for November. And we are going to be on the last month. Well, as it is, um, I did three more than I thought I was going to do. So, um, 
I'm glad I sort of finished out the year. Whereas next year it's a definite 12 month project. One of a couple. <laughs> so uh, the, um, the calendar will be my Tuesday project. And I've got, um, then we've got the journal of stitchery, which I tend to put on the Saturday. <laughs> And then um, Corinne and I are working on something that I will probably post on maybe Thursdays. And then any other bits and pieces in between. Because you haven't got enough to do. Okay. Now. And I've got to do a video of putting this book together, even though I do have one. I have a video of how I put um, my previous journals together. So if you go into the playlist and have a look at the, you know, the Journal of Stitchery series, it shows how I actually sew the book together. So I may not um, show you because I've already done it a couple of times actually so um, so just go into my playlist of the journal of stitchery i think it's on there or stitching with zoos one of the two just have a look and um you'll see how i put it together so i've got to do a couple of layers here got to make sure that the this is being stitched down and then there's a bit of the calico underneath that. There we go. Always takes a bit. Never, never easy. So, well, I might pause it because it's a little boring. You watching me do running stitch, and I'll come back when I when I'm up to that. Okay, I'm back again and I've stitched it down. So now I'm here to stitch in the cathedral window. Oop, move that over a little bit. Make it a little bit lighter. So I'm going to just do a bit of a back stitch. And once this is stitched down, I'm going to go over it with the iron so you won't see all that pink in the background. So this will at least hold that down as well. And I may go over in the middle, do a visual, uh, uh, invisible stitch over here and in the middle as well to um, make sure it's being held down. So yeah, that little bookie is coming along. It's quite tough stuff to to um, stitch through this so um, as much as it's pretty and I am I'm glad I did it it's been it's not easy um, sometimes I've just had to do one stitch at a time like I'm having to do here um, because I don't really want to you know, if I had it, have it at a different angle and yeah, I think I'm just better off doing one stitch at a time and keep it in camera. Oop, there we go. So this, the rest of the book, I've, I've gone along with the sewing machine and I've stitched down. So the pages are attached up until there. So I'll be able to attach those two. And then um, once I've finished doing the last, last page, I'll be able to attach. So I was thinking, I don't know, maybe doing an index page or um, you know something on the very last page. Um, but then at the same token, because they've all got, you know, needle turn applique, uh, wall work, cathedral window. I don't know. So maybe it's just going to be an extra, just an extra slow stitch page. I might just. Um, pick 
some fabrics and just maybe even use some of the bits and pieces that I've used throughout the piece do a bit of canvas stitching and just to make a nice last you know um, a pretty last background page so okay, I don't think I'm gonna make it as big as what it is there because I it tends to make it look not so much like a C and more of a G so even though it looks a bit funny at the moment I'll, um, once it's ironed it'll come off okay down okay now do I go around no I think I might just go this way um, some videos I'm very chatty <laughs> and other ones not so much and I think this is probably a not so chatty video um, you won't run out of things to say but I said in the previous like last Tuesday video this one's going to be none too exciting so <clears throat> it wouldn't offend me if you fast forward <laughs> so nice to do it while you're doing your stitching I do love how it has turned out I mean this was difficult but the color is just so pretty Oh, school bell must be lunchtime that's probably why my stomach was letting me know before school lunchtime lunchtime for me and then we'll do a thing up there hopefully it's in camera Um, yeah, I'm glad I, I'm glad I've done um, the actual names of everything on there. I think it's gonna, it looks good because this is, like I said, a. It'll be like a reference, a reference book. Of all the different things that you can do. I wonder what people are going to think of this, you know, when they pick it up in a hundred years. Um, and I've got this book. Hmm, be interesting. If it makes it. Now I'm going to, I think I might do that T a little higher. Looks a bit funny on here, but. Like I said, once I iron it off, it'll be good. Yeah, this D um, was a bit funny, so. Okay. Ooh. Now. We're coming up to the end of the year to be Christmas season how's everyone been going with the shopping look how dry my finger is that's it that's uh stitches fingers um yeah doing your Christmas shopping I've done some I did quite a bit earlier on um yeah but I've just got to probably do the the last minute big presents I don't really worry too much about Brad and I, my husband and I, we like when you need something, you just get it. Um, you know, when you're thinking of it. Um, so it's more about getting something for the kids and more about the day of having a nice meal together. Um, yeah.
you know, that E technique that Rachel used on, I don't know if it'll work on this one, um, because it's bigger. So I think I'm just going to do the back stitch on there. So yeah, it worked really well when we were doing the uh, the quotation and the the words on the on the treasure hunt. That was a clever idea. Okay. Okay, well, I think I might make this a short and sweet video um, because it's really none too exciting. You sitting here watching me do backstitch, and like I said, some days I'm yappier than others. <laughs> uh, you can tell it's getting towards the end of the year, I tell you. I'll just finish up here and then maybe say. Adieu and um, I've got to do a bit of housework too. Can't spend all this time stitching and doing videos. Life gets busy. Anyway, I'll finish doing this on the inside. I am happy with how that's look, looking though. Like it looks good in the uh, looks good in the in the book. So one more page stump work and um and then we are done. It's looking looking pretty good I reckon. I really love how it's all turned out. That page looks really nice with that actually. These two colours together. Okay, zoom it back out. Okay, yep, yeah, nice short one. But I knew that it wouldn't be a very long one. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching and I will um I will catch you in Thursday's video. Okay, bye.